Earthling declutter begin. Hey guys, it's February the, what is today? The 13th? And I just had my first official meeting with the organized soprano. I absolutely love her. We had this idea of helping me organize because obviously I have a small space. I feel like if you can master a small space, a large space, I don't want to say it's not any problem, but I feel like mastering a small space and getting, uh, you know, the most out of that space is just so genius. And I feel like I trust her with my stuff she's a makeup junkie too but she's an organizer and so i'm like man if she can do it i can do it so i am entrusting her with my things and it's i'm gonna vlog this because it's been pretty hard i think the accumulation of things came stemmed from me losing our daughter and um, not necessarily just makeup I think even just like clutter because it wasn't always like that I promise you guys it wasn't always like that I was different in college I was not like this I was not like this at home there was no way it was um, eight of us eight kids it's ten of us all together um, my parents would not have tolerated. My dad is a military man. So who this is going to make him proud. But anyway, I wanted to vlog this experience because I feel like a lot of people go through this where they have attached themselves to things and it's hard to let go. But sometimes you do need help. And I think I'm at that space and time where I want help and I need help. So we're going to tackle makeup first because I kind of like I have a projected of that. Then we may do clothes. I know y'all <laughs> my hair products is insane. I think my hair products might be just as bad as my skincare and my makeup. Um, but I want to show you guys where I hold my makeup. I have a skincare rack. Um, and I have my perfumes there. I need to do a perfume declutter. Maybe Kay can help me with that, but, um, that's where we are. And I just wanted to start vlogging. Um, I wanted to vlog my thoughts because it's been, it's been a long journey. I think I asked her sometime last year, but I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. But, um, we were talking today and I was like, I feel like I'm ready. And she was like, I think you're ready too. And I think that's the great thing about, hiring someone professional is because they've dealt with this before and they know when you're ready if you're not ready you kind of tie their hands where they can't do anything so i'm really excited about this oh i'm so excited because i feel like i'm not gonna lose me in this and who i am and i'm not going to lose what i like i don't want to say what i love i don't i don't want to have too much of an attachment really with makeup um even with hair products i review them and the ones that i like i want to keep purchasing try new stuff and kind of like let that revolving door open and close but i never want to be stuck and i feel like at this this is going to unstuck me from a lot of things so let the declutter begin well not right now because <laughs> we have a meeting next week okay so just wanted to put that on camera Hey guys, it is March 14th, yes, it's a Thursday, and I wanted to vlog this, I know, sorry, it's kind of bumpy going down the hill, it's a beautiful day, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, you were in my area, you kind of remember that, I am yeah, telling my age, and I'm ready for this declutter, y'all. I'm ready, but like, I don't know that I'm like, I don't know. I, I'm excited because I trust Kay. Okay. If you guys have not checked out the organized soprano, y'all, why didn't y'all tell me I only have one eyebrow done? Okay. I'm getting ready for this, um, declutter that I'm excited about. I'm more excited than nervous. Before, I was more nervous than excited, which meant I wasn't ready, but I feel like I'm ready. 
and this is not only a declutter this is like a downsize without moving because I just need a downsize I'm kind of like over the fact that I have like limited space and I have the makeup collection we moved from a four bedroom house no three bedroom house to a two bedroom and uh, I used to have I used to I was able to have like my makeup in, in a closet in the guest room okay like with all of my like beauty stuff my hair stuff and everything I can't do that anymore so until we move again and really when we you know when we move and decide to like because we want to purchase a house again a large house for our, our you know for our family our kids when we decide to move we want to be able to I don't I don't I don't I don't want to have I want an area not a space I don't want you know if we have the office it can be a beauty area um, but I don't want a beauty space so to speak that's what I'm speak, speaking right now you never know but I feel like it's like a purse the larger the purse the more you can put in it kind of thing I think that uh, it I think it's important to give you guys a backstory about how I feel like I've accumulated things and allowed clutter in my life and um, I really didn't see the difference I talked about this in a uh, was it a Facebook live with like a hair like it's all about the curls I love that Facebook group but I felt like a lot of my accumulation did not happen until after the passing of our daughter if you have not had a child to pass away you could have even had a, fa a close family member that lived with you pass away and I think that it's um, you know there's a direct correlation however um, I know that's when it started because I wasn't always like a clutter person but as much as we don't want to say this our I think objects do directly correlate the physical of what we see and what's tangible does have an association with what's going on on the inside and so I think this is gonna free me in a lot of ways and let me tell y'all that I pick K or you know K is allowing me to you know I asked her and she accepted and she was like it's gonna be fun it's gonna be fun first of all I like her light-hearted spirit like it is not like okay you know we're gonna do this she was just like it's makeup it expires you know you gotta keep buying it it's not like you're gonna be like oh I'm not gonna buy makeup in the next five years so you need to keep in mind that there's like this rotation of makeup you want to try things you love things that you'll always love but things that you want to try you know and then also uh, just to be realistic so I have this like plan of like I know because I've project Pam before how long it takes me to go through something so <clears throat> if I did not rotate my foundations <laughs> I've gone through maybe three to four I think three foundations in a year and when it comes to foundations I really both powder and liquid I don't want to go past three years I think having a foundation even that long usually expires in a year especially if it has SPF or whatever but some of mine I don't open until afterwards um, and I've never opened um, which is crazy but um, I want to use the items that I have. So to me, a realistic collection, a 
foundations is probably I would say 12 to 15 now some people are like 12 to 15 oh my goodness let's see I like variety I try foundations I like to talk about them um, I like to share that with you guys <clears throat> so I know that those are things that I want to I don't know why I keep yelling at y'all <sighs> that is something that I want to just like to me that's a realistic you know makeup collection hi guys I don't have on a strip of makeup I have blown I have blown my nose so much where my nose around here is peeling and um so that's what is going on but um I should have gone down bed next. um I just dropped e Joseph off Elijah isn't feeling well I'm not either So, anyway, I'm gonna do, I gotta do this to clutter. I have to. I gotta get my room together. Um, um, the good thing about it is, for the most part, I'm not gonna be on camera, but I will, you know, put myself on there. <laughs> I guess. I know, I'm sorry, you guys, I look a hot mess, but this is just real life. Some people, you know, want to only be seen on YouTube in a certain light. I want to show you real life, okay? And um, you guys have told me that you appreciate it. I'm need, yeah, I'm need streets. I'm about to, I'm about to be on Crenshaw, Crenshaw. God, I can't be gangsta, okay? But um, the sh these streets are like, like pretty bad. They just need to do it over again but anyway I wanted to come on and put this footage so I mean I wanted to vlog a little bit because I'm going to be filming like a before of everything how everything looked and then doing an after I kind of want her to maybe give me some like even some suggestions for organizers for my space I don't have a large makeup space it's it's a small it's basically a collection for a small room that I want to get organized and from that I want to branch out and do my hair products do my clothes um, those kind of things and so um, I think if everything goes well I uh, hopefully you know if she's not too busy she'll be able to help me with my hair care products and give me some organization like tips on how to store because I actually have it in my hope chest and maybe she can give me some tips at some point in time I think I want to take everything out of I have like a shiver shiver robe I think that's what they call it like some upper storage areas and I want to store my hair care products in there and then take my sweaters my clothes and all of that and put it in the hope chest and make the room look a lot more doable doable okay do not durable doable i got one of my space to be organized hence the reason why i invited the organizer battle and uh we're doing a virtual makeup declutter which means that she's going to help me virtually um, you guys will hear her helping me some of the tips and everything of how to start my declutter because this one I want it kind of like a projected I'm gonna send her a spreadsheet not a spreadsheet but like I wrote out like what I feel like I could do what would be like I guess my dream curation of a makeup collection and I base that on how many times, how often I use a product or category versus, um, like, I want, I definitely want some variety. I don't want to, I get bored 
so I need to like have a different variety of things versus how long it takes me to use things now y'all know I've done project pan so I know I go through and then I do have two videos on my channel on my main channel about uh, how long it takes me to like what products it takes me a longer time to use versus products that I go through very quickly I go through powders loose powders like even pressed powders I go through press and loose powders very quickly I go through bronzers quickly I go through um, based upon depending on what foundation it is um, I don't go through those quickly but I can go through I would say I've been through like I think a maximum of three foundations in a year um, so I feel like if I keep using it but I, I like variety and I am a complexion junkie um, the great thing about it is I've already kind of Kay sent me like a form but we've already talked about like you know I'm a complexion junkie so com uh, glowy cons wait glowy primers uh, hydrating primers smoothing primers um, are my jam I love foundations I love like some glow and I love um, concealers I just love trying new ones so those are the things that I like just really go to um, I like to have a variety of blushes although I feel like I go through the same ones but I get bored with blushes um, <coughs> excuse me I get bored with blushes I get bored with lip colors I go through lip glosses very quickly um what else do I go through quickly anyway you can check out the video but uh, it's pretty much it rings true to that I go through brow pencils very quickly yeah so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go get some medicine for my son gotta get some vapor rub mixed vapor rub gotta keep that in the house and I just ran out and some cough medicine get rid of that congestion that he has and um, I'm going to get set up for the declutter I am so excited and like I said she was like I feel like you're ready for this I'm like yay because I wasn't always ready y'all I think there's there's definitely there was a an attachment and we'll see how it goes y'all I'm saying I'm excited I feel like I'm excited I'm excited uh, to get some things now that I know that I what I like and I want her to use that sheet kind of like as a talisman against me I want her to kind of be not brutal but like coach me Melissa do you really need that like really so I'm gonna have a bag for like giveaway and am I no these are not gonna be giveaways I've already put my giveaway pile away this is gonna be straight to clutter so this is gonna be like family and friends and trash like things that have expired so I'm gonna have two bins there so you guys can see what I'm getting rid of and we're gonna do it from that we're gonna do it like that and hopefully she can come back and help me with my hair products because y'all I test a lot of stuff but there's some stuff that I'm just not for the majority of time I do wear my hair curly but I am gonna try some products um, on my sleek straight hair We'll see how that goes. I'm excited that Kay is going to help me, and it's an organizer. You know, she's an organizer on YouTube. Check her out. So go subscribe to her channel. I fell in love with her ch channel from a declutter. And in it, she says, makeup expires. And because she said that so much, I think it was engraved in my spirit. She antagonized my, my heart. But anyway, I just wanted to come on and tell you guys I am so ready for this. I'm excited. Okay, so this is all of the area that Kay is going to help me with. And this is my vanity. I have two. I know it looks crazy. So this is why I'm doing like the before and after. This is the top. Those are my foundations. 
y'all I am a complexion junkie so I have a projected amount of what I want my makeup collection to look like um, so I'm gonna send her those projections too this is like lash glue lash primer brow primer I mean brow brush this is gunky I should just stick this put this out because that doesn't that's ugh, disgusting like there's some stuff that in here that I know I don't like even use so why is it in here okay hopefully I can get rid of I don't know if I'll be able to get rid of like these this is a Muji drawer those are all of my concealers these are like glitters and then look at this y'all I ha even have this these drawers so that one right there is powders this is primers oh see this is why I need somebody to help me have this and then I also have a big bag y'all that's ridiculous